beautiful, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Hi, I'm Caitlin. If you're new here, on the channel we focus a lot on what is a bullet journal and how to bullet journal. This week I'm gonna be deep diving into what is a monthly calendar or a monthly spread and how to create those monthly spreads in your bullet journal. I am a sucker for finding a spread that I love and just sticking with it. And as much as I encourage you to find your own groove and figure out what works best for you in your bullet journal, I like to switch things up a little bit and my monthly calendars is definitely something I need a little more help in. So I came up with 10 different monthly spread ideas for this video and I will for sure be using them in my plan with me videos in the future. If you're interested in that, just keep on watching. First up is the stationary supplies that I'm going to be using today. Generally speaking, I use watercolors and most recently gouache in my bullet journal for my monthly plan with me's, but I wanna show you how easy and minimalistic setting up these monthly calendar layouts in your bullet journal are going to be. So I grabbed my Crayola pens, my Micron pens, and then a couple little odds and ends as well, which you'll see I use later on in the video, just to help me create everything that is in here. Everything will be linked in the description box down below if you're looking for exact information on that as well as in my blog post, I break down every spread and how to create it just in a bit more detail. If you feel like you've missed something in the video, it's probably in that post. This first spread I think is the perfect monthly calendar to start this bullet journaling video off with. It is the calendar that I tend to gravitate towards and am having a hard time giving up. I ended up using this in my April plan with me when I did the coffee shop theme and it was the perfect layout for me personally because it provides enough space for me to write down all the tasks that I wanna get done in the month and it provides me a visual. I am a visual person. I like having a grid layout in front of me. I did come in here just with those two Crayola colors to add in a bit of color to the top and then drop shadow as well, and then moved my way up to write out my title. For this, I'm pretending that we're planning out our April plan with me for 2022, so those are the dates and the month that you will be seeing in the calendar. I did a very simple lettering style for my bullet journal and then added a bit of a drop shadow on the left side of the lettering just to make it pop from the page a bit more. Spread number two, I ended up showing how to create this in my February 2022 plan with me. So if you haven't seen how I set up my bullet journal, then this will be a brand new spread for you. This I just started off with a dainty calligraphy style with the black pen instead, and I thickened my downstroke. So every time I pulled my pen closer to my body, it just put a little bit more pressure on my pen to make it thicker. And every time I pulled it away or lifted it up towards the top of the page, I ended up lifting my pen up just a little bit more to make that calligraphy style. And then instead of adding a darker drop shadow, I added a drop shadow with a color. I did section my page off into two different sections. The left side here, we're gonna be dedicating towards our personal tasks. So if you have two different lifestyles, I guess, that you want to keep track of and separate, you're able to do this with this specific spread. The one thing that I like about this is that it just provides a bit easier visual to see where my time is being spent. And one of my goals for the month of March, in my March plan with me, I put a reflection page in and I wanted to focus and prioritize relationships. So for this calendar, it's perfect because it would show me where my time is going for friends and family versus my work and side hustles. Spread number three is a combination of the two. So like I said for the first spread, I like having that visual of the calendar grid in my bullet journal. And number two, didn't give that to us. So if you're kind of like me, but you did like spread two, this one will be perfect for your monthly setups and monthly calendar spread. I did start just with a smaller grid size for the calendar. And each of those are three by three dot grids. And then we just have a little banner at the top for what's gonna be the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way to Sunday. For this grid space, you could be using it for nothing if you wanna just keep it plain looking, 
or you could add in different lettering, but if you find that your letters are just a little too big to fit in there, you could always add in doodles or little emojis to what is going to happen. So a little dollar sign for payday, maybe you had a sick day, you could put like a sad face if you like tracking those things as well in your planner. You have a dentist appointment, could be a little smile with some teeth, things like that could all go in this planner section up at the top. Down at the bottom is more of that grid list and there is one tick for every single day, but that should be loads of room to write down everything you need for the month. Spread number four is a little bit different, and this spread I would use if I had a little less going on in the month. So I'm just coming in with pencil really quick to show you how I started this spread off. And I found the very center of my page and I wanna create an oval. So I counted eight dots up and six dots across to create that oval shape. And then I ended up lightly going in with a line with that Crayola marker to start off very slow. You can always start off with a pencil sketch if you're feeling a little bit nervous about going in with marker right away, but I did give some tricks in my one page weeklies on how to do that a little bit better. I'll have that one linked up above if you're interested in seeing how to do some weekly spreads in your journal. I did end up sectioning this off into 30 pieces or 30 little spots, I guess. And the easiest way that I thought about doing this was to divide the oval in quarters first and then have two sections of eight and two sections of seven. That just made it the easiest for me. Some were a little bit bigger or smaller than the others, but I would say overall they were pretty even all around. Then I just came in and added in the numbers and in the center, I ended up adding a calligraphy style lettering again. If calligraphy isn't your cup of tea, don't use it. Try a different lettering style, but I was really nervous testing out calligraphy for the first time. And ever since I've used it, I haven't gone back. Spread number five, I ended up starting out with some washi tape. If you haven't seen this trick before, you center the washi tape around your block lettering, and then you can go in the center where that washi tape will be removed with something else. And it can be whatever you like. So I did just come in with the word April, had that center line cleared from the washi tape and came in with a calligraphy style. You can use the same word, which is what I ended up using here, or you can always switch up the word that you have going in. So you could have April 2022 instead in the center, but I liked having April and April. Just, it was a little easier for me and my mind. After that, I moved on to filling in the calendar layout and very similar to having the two sections divided before in one of our earlier spreads, except I'm making it more of a grid space. And then I'm coming in here with the day of the week. This is just a little something different when you're looking at lettering and banner styles, very similar to our banner just up at the top. Spread number six. Maybe you're the type of person who doesn't like having specific number, column, date, things like I do. This page I ended up dividing into three different sections and just up at the top, I put in a mini calendar. Something really small, just so you do have some sort of visual to know what day falls on which day of the week but the rest of the page is going to be broken down a little bit different than what we've done before. If you don't have a set schedule throughout the month, this spread would be perfect for you. Up at the top, just right next to that calendar, I ended up coming in with a tasks list. You can always adjust this to different ideas to fit into your bullet journal, things like a habit tracker, mood tracker, gratitude, anything like that, a little quote page as well, but I filled it in with tasks. The middle section here, I just added in our monthly title because this is our monthly calendars and added a drop shadow, very similar lettering style to what we've seen before. The bottom, I'm really excited about, like spread number two, where we kind of had two different categories to our life, this one, we are breaking our life down into three different categories. I am coming in just with a rounded edge on these rectangles. So you'll see here, I just leave one little space between the horizontal and the vertical lines so I can create that rounded edge. The first category that we're having here is for work. Second one is personal and third is school. So if you are a student, I have a whole playlist on different student spreads. I'll just link that one up above. But if you have certain activities that need to get done for school, 
this layout might be great for you because it breaks down again where your life and your time is going throughout the month. Spread number seven, maybe you are not a one page monthly person and you like to use two page monthly calendars in your bullet journal. These spreads from now on are going to be your best friend. Here I've done a calligraphy style just up at the top with our monthly month. I was gonna say our monthly year, but that doesn't make any sense. And then I came in here with a grid layout as well. The difference between our first spread that we did and this one that we're doing now is that it's gonna cover both pages. On the left page here, I'm only doing five days of the week. And then on the right page, I am doing the last two days. Because I like to start my months on a Monday, the last two columns are just for Saturday and Sunday which just make it a little bit easier. Weekend is on the right. All the work days are on the left. For that side column that we've just left blank is a gratitude tracker. This is just one option that you can do within your bullet journal for this layout. You can add in things like goals or again, different other trackers that you like to keep track of when you are planning out your monthly spreads. Spread number eight. This is another two page weekly spread that you can use in your bullet journal for your monthly calendar. Instead of having the page split vertically, what we're going to do is split it horizontally. So I'm coming in with a middle section and having 30 days, 15 boxes on the left, 15 boxes on the right, and then adding in my yellow pop of color for the center and adding in days. Now I did make a mistake and I tried to cover it up with whiteout. The only thing with whiteout I found it did not work with the Crayola marker over top. So right here, I ended up adding in my paper. I just cut a little piece out from the back of my book and then made my mistake go away. Washi tape is something I love using in my bullet journal to block off space, but sometimes it's a little too sticky and it will rip my page. So I just came in here and you see that I put it on my sleeve just to make the back of the washi tape not so sticky. And you can do that with masking tape or scotch tape as well if washi tape isn't something that you have in your stationary supplies. So no worries. I came in with some background lettering just saying April. And then when you pull that tape away, it just reveals the numbers that we've already done, as well as that background April. You can go in and fix anything up that you need to, but that's really it. Spread number nine, I would say is very similar to spread six. Yes, where we divided our life into three different categories, except we're gonna do that over two pages now. Maybe that one page calendar wasn't enough and you need something just with a little bit more space to plan out your month. This would be a really good alternative for you. I came in and I blocked off three sections and then added my yellow Crayola markers over top, divided each of the page into, and then I ended up adding in the days of the week. I don't know if this is just a me thing or if other people are like this as well, but I really like having the day of the week and the number of the week next to each other. So I put that in there as well. Up at the top for the categories, I'm just writing a morning and then evening and all day. But you can always have these categories be different things like we had before, work, personal, school. However, you wanna divide those three things to help make your life easier and make your bullet journal work for you. I really recommend doing that. At the top, I'm adding in a different banner style, very similar lettering, but here is something that you can do to switch up the style that you use in your bullet journal. So I started with that base or bubble letter, added that drop shadow, but to switch things up, I ended up coming back in with dots just in the center of it. So one little change, but it makes the spread look a little bit different. On the right hand side, I added a calendar, some goals, and then also tasks. Last but not least, spread number 10. This is going to be a Dutch door spread. If you don't know what a Dutch door is, I got you covered. Basically, it's where you cut a piece of your journal out. I know that sounds a little scary, but just bear with me. It's gonna provide you more space to write down what you need to have happen during the month. The side, I just ended up adding in a little calligraphy, really big, 
What you see here when I end up cutting that page just in half, when I flip it over, you can still see that April calligraphy style, but there's also room on the other side where I can write more things out. In that center tab, I am going to be writing my first category of things, personal and work. And then I'm dividing it into the morning and the evening. What this Dutch door spread is going to give you is four possible spots or four categories that you can fill because I thought, well, I only really have two categories in my life. You can also divide it into the morning and the evening. So that is something else that you can do as well. We're kind of combining a whole bunch of different uh, monthly spreads that we've done already so far in the video. I really want to show you how you can combine everything together to make these spreads work for you. On that back side is just for the student life. Again, if you aren't in school, then you don't have to use this specific category, but that's just a general idea for how you can fill this spread out. I came in here with a little mini calendar because again, I like a visual, so <laughs> I'm adding that in for me for my journal. And then I'm leaving spots specifically on the side here for assignments, assuming that you are a student, and then just monthly tasks that you want to get done throughout the month. But that is really it. Here is just a little quick flip through of what we did today, but let me know down in the comments below what you want to see next. If there's another video that you'd like to see or a topic more in depth, let me know down there. And if you've watched up until this part of the video, put down a yellow sun emoji just in the comments. I always love seeing who does that. I feel like it's just kind of like a little hidden secret for the people who comment whatever emoji I come up with, but okay. No more talking, I'm gonna let you enjoy the flip through. Well, that is it. Thank you for watching the video so far. And if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and comment down below. It really does help support the channel to grow and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.